let us pray a vim al our Father, our King. It is once again that you have blessed your servant, your daughter of the Most High, to stand before your people and bring your word. Lord, I, I, I pray that the words of my mouth and the meditation from my heart be acceptable in your sight, O oh Lord my God. Please increase as I decrease. I give you all the praise, the honor, and the glory. Thank you for everything, Lord. In the name of your precious Son, Jesus, the Messiah, I pray. Amen. 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 Well, church, we already know God is still in control and eternity awaits. And uh, today's message is don't quit. Finish the race. Someone say, don't quit. Don't, don't quit. quit. Finish the race. Finish the race. And, and the scripture passage comes from the book of Hebrews uh, 11 and, and 1. And I know that we all know this familiar passage. Uh, if you can, would you please stand for the reading of this one verse of God's holy word. Hebrews 11 and 1. And some know it by heart, I know it. And it reads, now faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the conviction of things not seen. Thank you, Baruch Hashem Adonai. Blessed be the name of the Lord, and you may be seated in his presence. Amen. Amen. Beloved, today we're going to, um, I have volunteers who came with me to church today. And they are Barbie, Barack, and James. And they're going to be helping me with this illustration. Now, I want you to physically behold the, the three in front of you, and they are considered runners. Barbie is runner number one, Barack is runner number two, and James is runner number three. Now, today we are not focusing on their image, uh, but we're focusing on the sermon message, which is, don't quit, finish the race. Okay, let's try that again. Don't quit, finish the race. And the, the red line there represents uh, heaven and eternity with God. Amen? Will you Amen. pray with me this, this morning? So, so uh, will you pray with me this morning? Amen. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let us begin with runner number one. Someone say Barbie. 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 Yeah, this is Barbie. This is Barbie. Now, Barbie, she's getting ready to, to run the spiritual race. And the thing with Barbie, she's just accepted Jesus Christ as her Lord and Savior. Mm. And she's just become a Christian warrior. Mm -hmm. And she feels that she's ready for this race. Mm -hmm. But you see, she's been taught that her life now will be continually beautiful as she is. And smooth and uh, calm without trials, without any situations. You see, she's considered to be a baby Christian. Right. And, and, and she doesn't yet know about God's armor mm -hmm. and so how to use it or how to wear it. Therefore, she'll have to learn about what she has and how to use it and how to faithfully serve the Lord. Uh, anybody remember when they were a baby Christian? Oh, yeah. Oh, I know. Yeah, I know. yeah, when they were a baby Christian. So you see, in her spiritual walk, now, she doesn't walk by herself. She needs a little help from her. So in her spiritual walk, she encounters, you know, some bumps and some hills mm. and some mountains mm -hmm. and some valleys along the way. And she begins to get spiritually discouraged, okay? Um, she slows down in attending church. Bible study, uh -huh. and fellowship with the body of Christ. She becomes dragged down uh -huh. by the generality of life, mm -hmm. and thus, she just quits running the, the spiritual race. You see, she fell short 
of the mark that God has set for her as well as his divine standard right. for her life. Mm -hmm. Someone says she quit. She, she quit. quit. Barbie quit. Let us continue with runner number two. Someone say Barack. 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 He encounters the same spiritual role as Barbie. Mm. He has the same up and downs. But you see, he's been a Christian much longer. Mm -hmm. And he knows about the spiritual armor. And he knows how to wear it. Mm -hmm. But he could be considered, look at that smile. Mm -hmm. He could be considered a non-combatant Christian who needs to kind of wake up and wear his armor daily. Mm -hmm. And... Um, or a vulnerable Christian, because he only wears part of his armor when he needs to. Oh. So he also is like Barbie. He's running the race, and he passes by Barbie. Now, he occasionally, he, he, he prays occasionally, and he studies God's word during the hard times. But you see, when life is good, Barack kind of slips backwards. Mm. And so his armor has a hole in it, okay? Um, it leaks, and it's not completely sealed. So Barack, he, he, he passes Barbie in the Christian race, but then he stops. Mm. He too has fell short of the finish line and, and God's standard for his for his life. Someone say he quit. He quit. Now we come to James. Now James is a victorious Christian. Oh my. And he, he even sings about being a victorious Christian. champion. He does not quit and he meets God's standards for his life. But you see, right before he gets to the victory line, he looks around and he sees that somebody else didn't make it. So what he does is he comes back and he gathers Barbie. And then they go up to Barack. And then James, Barack, and Barbie all finish <laughs> the line together. Amen. Because God doesn't want anybody. Amen. 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 Because he wasn't thinking of himself alone. He was thinking of his brothers and sisters in Christ. Yeah. And, and that's how we should do. We, we should, first of all, not quit. We should finish the race. Right. But we should also look to see what our brother and sister are doing. Amen. You know, Vince Lombardi once said, winners never quit and quitters never win. Once you learn to quit, it becomes a habit. Amen. 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 Someone say, don't quit, finish the race. Don't quit, finish the race. I believe that many of us here today 
have experienced times in our lives in which someone has told us, or we have said to ourselves, don't quit. You know, I said that last week. When we break down the meaning of don't quit, we find that the word don't is a contractual phrase for do not, something a person should not do. The word quit means to stop doing, working, to hang up, to leave, give up, or admit defeat. Now the word quit in Hebrew is kadal, K-C-H-A-D-A-L, kadal. And this word even has a deeper meaning as to cease, desert, fail, to come to an end or hold back, to lack or be idle, to neglect, refrain, refuse, forsake, abandon, discontinue, get rid of, interrupt, or resign. This is a deep meaning. Yes, so when we quit at anything, and especially when we spiritually quit, this is what we're saying that we're doing, all those meanings. So in our earlier illustration, runners one and two, they quit their spiritual races and left their assignments undone. Beloved, when God gives us an assignment, he's already prepared and equipped us as believers to boldly finish, not quit, and finish the spiritual race. Can I get a witness here today? Amen. Anybody Amen. running a race today? Amen. You know, brothers and sisters, the enemy, Satan, Hasatan, he deceives believers by planting the idea of defeat in minds. God did not create his children to spiritually fail or quit. And when we as believers speak life into these negative thoughts ourselves, we burden our minds, which takes the focus off of God. Right. Remember how the 2021 Olympics just uh, finished and how track and field, uh, they were on the field, the runners, uh, in the specific races. I did not see anyone running forward and looking backwards for the entire race, right. focusing only on the runner behind them or running away from the finish line. As overcomers, we must run on and press toward heaven. There's a gospel song that says, this is war. Remember that song? Yeah. Running the spiritual race is war. Not quitting the spiritual race is war. Philippians 3, 12 to 14 reads, not that I have already attained this or am already perfect, but I press on to make it my own because Christ Jesus has made me his own. Brothers, I do not consider that I have made it my own, but one thing I do, forgetting huh, what lies behind yeah. and straining forward to what lies ahead, I press on toward the goal for the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. Beloved, a faithful believer should not be spiritually singing the song I did it my way. Mm. Spiritual strength comes from the Lord. Amen. And you know, when we as believers spiritually strain forward, press, and don't quit, we are being drawn closer to the Lord. We are demonstrating a saving uh, faith, a living faith, and trust in God. Right. And Hebrews 11 and 6 says, and without faith it is impossible to please him. For whoever would draw near to God must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who seek him. Yes. May I say this to you today? As we pass our spiritual test, temptations and trials in life, we move closer to being perfected in the likeness of Jesus, Yeshua. James 1, 2 to 4 reminds us to count it all joy, my brothers, right. when you meet trials of various kinds. For you know that the testing of your faith produces steadfastness. And let steadfastness have its full effect, that you may be perfect and complete, lacking in nothing. And Philippians 4 and 13 reads, I can do all things, not some things, not a little thing. I can do all, all things, things through him who strengthens me. God's strength gives us the power to run boldly and not quit. We cannot put our hand to the plow, mm -hmm. look back, mm -hmm. and be still fit for the kingdom of heaven. Mm -hmm. Find that in Luke 9 and 62. You know, a believer cannot run forward in this spiritual race and have one foot dragging it back. One cannot finish a race and quit 
at the same time. Mm. Do I have a witness here? Amen. It is time for people to stop straddling the spiritual fence concerning the Lord. It is time for people who say they believe to stop looking back at the past as though the past were more important than what the future in Christ will bring. It is due time for believers to strongly finish as we unequivocally stand for what is spiritually and morally right and denounce what is spiritually and morally wrong. The enemy and small god of this world, Satan, is ramping up the evilness every day and destruction mm -hmm. in and throughout the world. You know, believers are under attack and sometimes things can get so bad that they quit running the spiritual race. That's right. That's right. And you know what is the clincher? Sometimes it's just before God is getting ready to elevate them to a new level. Amen. Yeah. You know, God's getting ready to open a new door, to, to open a new level, and they quit the spiritual race. I always say, new levels bring out new devils. Amen? The enemy wants us to quit. And usually that moment that a person is ready to spiritually quit is the moment right before a miracle happens. Amen. Lord help. A breakthrough occurs mm -hmm. and or a release is received. Uh -huh. So it's time to speak about what is just and unjust in these days of sin and chaos. And today is the appointed time to be truthful in what we say and not shake in faith throughout the day. Are you with me? Amen. We as a body in Jesus Christ, we can't succumb to the tricks of the enemy or even the inner me. Because right. mm. the inner me can be an enemy all by itself. Amen. We can enjoy God's perfect peace, his shalom, shalom, even when the world is anything but in perfect peace. Because of Christ, we can have perfect peace and not be perfectly peaceless. Amen. 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 Isaiah 26, 3 and 4 reads, You keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on you, because he trusts in you. Trust in the Lord forever, for the Lord God is an everlasting rock. Yes. <laughs> Beloved, we must never quit on ourselves, spiritually, physically, and mentally. And most importantly, we must not quit on God. Amen. For God and his Son and Holy Spirit did not quit on us. Right. Jesus gave us his example all the way, all the way to the cross of Calvary. Philippians 1 and 6 reads, And I am sure of this, that he who began a good work in you will bring it to completion at the day of Christ. And Joshua 1 and 9 reminds us, Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be frightened and do not be dismayed for the Lord your God is with you wherever wherever Andre you go. Amen. What makes a believer spiritually quit and not finish the race? Well there are a variety of reasons but some might be they don't believe in God anymore. Mm. They don't want to follow God's commandments anymore. They've fallen on hard times or are in a state of apostasy, which is the falling away from one's faith, as well as the fleshly desire overtaking God's desire to do things and live life his way. Mm -hmm. You know, when a believer stops desiring to serve the Lord, then they have spiritually given up. Mm -hmm. You see, one cannot sing the song, never would have made it if they spiritually quit, for they will not finish the race. <laughs> For when a believer's soul is anchored in the Lord, they won't quit, and they will finish the race. Amen. When a disciple's faith is the assurance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen, they will not quit, and they will finish the race. When a believer shifts the atmosphere from worry to worship, then they won't quit and will finish the race. And when we as sons and daughters of the Most High mm -hmm. walk in God's exousia for us, his power that he has given to us, mm -hmm. then we will not quit and we will finish the spiritual race. Mm -hmm. Beloved, I want 
to be used by God. Mm -hmm. Please don't ever question if I will spiritually quit on the Lord or finish the race. For he has done so much for me on, that I cannot tell it all. And, you know, don't, don't worry about me not spiritually running on the Lord's path for me. Because I don't feel no ways tired. Right. I come too far from where I started from. Amen. You see, nobody told me the road would be easy, but I don't believe he brought me this far to lead me. Amen. Amen. So on. in conclusion, to don't quit, finish the race, continue to run this spiritual race with patience, mm -hmm. hope, and trust in God. Be fearless in your faith, yes. fervent in yes. your prayers, yes. and don't quit, <laughs> beloved, finish the race. Amen. Be faithful in your daily walk and living. Mm -hmm. Be grateful in your worship and praise unto the Lord, Pastor Eddie, and don't quit, Amen. finish mm -hmm. the race. Finish your the goal race. might be to begin or finish school, but studying is hard, or you might be interviewing for a new job because you did not get the last one, or whatever your circumstance, don't quit, don't quit, don't quit. Come you on, finish the race. You might be trying to repair hmm, a broken relationship, but you are met with an unforgiving spirit, Lord help, or have fallen on some hard economic times, but don't quit, get back up mm -hmm. and finish the race. You see, it's not how you start, but the victory is in how you end. The number seven is the number of completion. So we say to you today, don't quit. 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 Finish the race. Finish the race, church. If you've never heard anything else today, finish the race. On Monday, finish the race. On Tuesday, finish the race. On Wednesday, finish yeah, yeah. the race. Great. On Thursday, finish the race. On Friday, finish the race. On Saturday, Shabbat, finish the race. And on Sunday, continue to finish the race. God is with you. Amen. 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 I'm going to finish the race. Amen. I don't care what people say. I don't care what people say. I'm going to yes. finish the race. Yes. Who's going to be with me? Yes. Yes. Finish the race. Finish the race. Just finish. Just finish.